Your wonderful imagination is at the very core of all your life experiences. Your past, your present, and your future all started from your imagination. Imagination is the faculty that adds color, excitement, and a sense of adventure to your otherwise mundane life. Have you ever seen little kids making powerful use of their imagination? They can use a broomstick to fly away into outer space. They can create a magical world out of nothing material. Their imaginal powers are super strong, and this is one of the reasons they always stay happy and detached. But on the other hand, we as adults like to approach everything in our life through the logical mind. This mind is concerned with the material evidence, and unless we don't have something in our physical possession, the rational mind won't be at ease. This is why your life becomes an endless race of trying to gather as many things, even though they might never bring you the satisfaction you crave. Contentment comes when you are in tune with who you really are. It always starts with being aware of what is going on inside you and what you truly desire. As you become more self-aware, you will lose the desire for so many things, and those desires will be replaced with new desires that really come from deep within. Next comes the role of imagination. Through the wise use of your imagination, you can consciously create a life you want for yourself. Neville says that once you assume the feeling of having something, it sure comes your way. It doesn't matter if that assumption was positive or negative, your subconscious mind being the faithful servant dishes out what you asked through your assumption. So, what if you start using your imagination deliberately? You just have to get into a state of wish fulfilled and you will get what you want. But today I want to specifically talk about some obstacles that you might face in bringing your desire to reality, and I will also tell you how you can overcome them through your own mental power. Once you assume the state of the wish fulfilled, the idea is to always think from that state of consciousness and look at life from that perspective. The more deeply you will immerse yourself in the assumption, the quicker will be the manifestation. But that's not possible for all of us. No matter how strong your resolve it is, life sometimes gets in the way. Day-to-day -day work and duties often make it difficult to stay in the state of the wish fulfilled all the time. So then how can these people manifest their desires? Let me tell you from my own experience. At the beginning of my journey with the law of assumption, I was really strict with myself, and I would try my best to stay in the assumption 24 7 It was mentally exhausting at first, but it sure had its perks. The perk was that I always got to my desire in the shortest amount of time, and that was just because I was focusing so well on the reality I wanted to create. But as I started getting busy, I found less and less time to stay immersed in my assumption. This caused a lot of guilt since I knew that I was the one delaying my manifestation through my compromised focus. And let me tell you, feeling guilty is one of the worst states to be in. Guilt is an emotional trap. It starts with anger and disappointment over one specific matter, but very soon that negativity spills to other areas of your life. So, a lesson I learned the hard way is that I have to forgive myself over and over again for messing up. The law of assumption is amazing, but it shouldn't be a reason for me to feel ashamed of myself. That goes against the very basics of reality creation. When you are trying to change or transform your life, you must maintain a positive vibration. You should be in a good mood, and you must beat yourself up for not clinging to your assumption. Think of yourself like a child who is learning to walk. He will trip and fall down thousands of times before he can ever take a few steady steps. But does the child ever feel guilty for falling? Not at all because that's the process of learning. When you are starting with the law of assumption, you are very much like that child, so you must embody his attitude as well. There will be days when you will visualize and get into a feeling of the wish fulfilled at the start of the day, but by noon all of the conditioning would have gone out of the window because of the pressure at work or home. It's perfectly alright. You tried but you fell off the track. If you start lamenting yourself for not staying aligned with your assumption, then your mind will start thinking of the process of manifestation as something very difficult. And then the next time you will try to get back on track, you will face a lot of internal resistance. So, don't make the mistake of beating yourself up for not practicing the law in the right way. You have to go easy on yourself. Just know that you have to keep going without being affected by the obstacles and the bad days. And even when you will feel like you have learned the law and mastered the art of staying in the state of the wish fulfilled, still there will be days when you will falter. This is a part of being human. 
So, on those days, you need to accept and acknowledge the way you are feeling and keep going. Let go of the idea of perfection. There is no one right way to do this. Each one of us is different, and you have to find the way that works best for you. Take your mistakes and challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, and don't shy away from embracing your flaws. You have to understand that our minds were not programmed to believe in concepts like manifestation, so when you try to change your beliefs, it will take time and effort. But to know success, you must first be familiar with failure. Fail at it as many times as you want, and only then will you know what it takes to become successful on this path. There are some people who are able to create reality shifts within the first week of trying the law. And there will also be people who continue to learn and develop over time. So don't look at someone else getting results and start feeling insecure about your own journey. The journey is not difficult, but it's our own conditioning and reactions that get in the way. If you learn to let go of your mistakes and keep going, you will get there in no time. But one thing you can definitely teach yourself is not to react to the 3D. The outer circumstances are not in your control, but your reaction is. When you have assumed a state, let's say of having more money, then all of a sudden you will start noticing lack everywhere. This is the natural response of your mind and how it has been conditioned. Your mind is trying to make you aware of the lack of money so that you can do something about it and ensure your survival. Survival is all that your brain cares about. It has been designed to make you function in ways to avoid danger and pain and stay in comfort for as long as you can and one way to avoid pain is to become aware of the stimuli in the environment that can possibly cause you pain. So, your mind makes you focus on the lack of money to avoid pain or suffering in the future. But the moment you notice the absence of money in your environment, you lose sight of your assumption. Whenever you make this mistake, gently bring your attention inward and mentally repeat the reality you are trying to create. The 3D will try to trick you into reacting, but you need to put your foot down and take conscious control of your thoughts. If you keep experimenting and going on in spite of all the mental resistance, then there will come a time when the 3D will lose importance for you. The outer circumstances may present a picture of hell, but if you don't react to them, they will lose their power. And as I said earlier, this journey of manifestation is very rewarding, but you need some time to get a hang of things and concepts. You need to give yourself that time and forgive yourself when you fall off the track. The track is always there, and you can always jump on it again, so don't even waste one second of your time in trying to feel bad about why you faltered. The next step in your successful manifestation journey is to keep watching my channel. Click now on the video on the screen to be inspired by another video.